know, the, the best part of watching your show is that someone who really thinks that this is this is going to put them back in the black. This is going to this is going to pay off the car. You're the evil guy. Aren't this is this is you're going to crush people's spirits. You know, rare the the. the, the the ratio of happy news to bad news is far greater in the happy area, but there are people like you who really dig it when we crush the soul of someone who thinks they have uh, an heroin. Well, broken dreams are very inspiring. Well, what, this, this might be the boulevard of broken dreams. What is like, uh, one of the more oddest types of, of items people bring on the show? I see like a lot of plates, and I've even seen like cannonballs. I've seen like everything. You know, we see all kinds of stuff. matter of fact, this season we did a feature piece on prison collectibles, like an actual antique. Oh, you mean like a toothbrush with a razor on it? Like a ball and chain, oh, like a legit okay. ball and chain, or a shackle, which there are people who collect that stuff. So as, um, as and, and, do you get, and do you get more collectors, or do you get people who stumbled on something in a garage sale and realized it could be worth something? Well, I, I consider them all collectors of different types. So the ones that are like professional collectors, you won't see on our show. I think we should combine your show with hoarders. And I think yeah. we'd have a great, in storage wars, I and think, just can bring them all by together. By the way, there are many people on our show who could be on corporate. Really? Because there's a, a fine line between collecting and stockpiling. Oh, yeah, the green room for guests must smell great. Yeah, it can get a little funky. Yeah. And what season did you just complete? We completed our 18th season. That's amazing to me. 11th nomination. And forgive me, have you been with the show the, the entire uh, for nine, nine years? years. Yeah. And uh, what, what when they approached you nine years ago, uh, you know, it, it's really doing much better now than it did uh, early on, you know, just in terms of, like, it's found its core audience. Audience. What, do, what do you think? What do you think about the show has changed? Well, I think what I don't know if, that, if it's that the show has changed as much as that it has remained at the quality it always has been, right? So people dug it at 18 years, and we give them the same show. Or, or I mean, it, it evolves, but the quality stays the same. And, and, and please keep the room the same. I love like just the room that people wander around. Don't ever turn it where people are sitting in a sort of a million second quiz lighted chair and you spin them kind of thing. We thought we were going to do that. We're going to actually have the money chair, so they're going to sit in it, and as we appraise their stuff, it, it ticks down and, then, uh, and the chair itself is, is vintage it's a vintage barber chair or something. and last question for you yeah sometimes you meet some of the contestants and you must think to yourself oh my god you remind me of a relative you must you must be reminded of so many people in your personal life that come on the show with like their different artifacts yeah, yeah. well there i've got i run into an uncle phil every time i'm there you know and it's it becomes like family so i'll walk through the airport and instead of people going are you the guy from that show they talk to me like we've been in a conversation and they walk right up and go mark i've got this watch my grandfather gave me how much you think it's worth? I mean, everywhere I go. And so I tell them a hundred bucks. Because I don't know.